Good morning, what's up? It's another day and another uh, podcast attempt here. Oh, Sen's licking me in the face here. Anyway, um, I just did one yesterday, probably less than like 24 hours ago, but I have some more thoughts and I really want to challenge myself to make more videos, more content, and to just like, uh, yeah, get out of my head, get these thoughts out of my head and start thinking. And also, I'm getting, I'm getting some value from like the back and forth between... Um, just not only my own thoughts and what I'm going through but other people's thoughts your thoughts um, and just chatting with other people as well and getting that different perspective so I guess today what I'm kind of thinking of is well I turned my I opened up my phone today to check the date and you know I don't know why I checked the date I know what date I know what the date is right we're basically the end of July but I don't know, for some reason I saw it and I was like, whoa, like, time's moving fast. I can't believe summer's half over already. And it's weird that I have that feeling because if I look back, I've done a lot this summer. I mean, we went to New Brunswick, we went to Montreal, we traveled for like ever. Um, we did Niagara Falls, a bunch of areas like that. We just went to London over the weekend. Like, we're making lots of travels with our van and doing this van life thing. But... Um, something about time just feels like it's passing by so fast and we're back in Chatham now so like Tina's working right now I'm just back at the van raisins in and working on the van and also trying to work on some content here and create some stuff but something about something about time is moving so fast and I think it's mainly here's kind of my thoughts I don't know if it's true or not again I'm mostly just thinking out loud here and documenting how I'm feeling and what I'm going through or whatever but it feels like the more routine I have in my life the faster time flies by right so it's like doing the same thing every day or having a similar routine or a similar structure to the day just makes the days like blend into each other in this really weird way and and time goes by faster right Especially when we're in Chatham, we're parking at my parents' place, um, we're doing a lot of the same things every day. Tina goes to work, I drop her off at work, I come home, I clean the van, I take Zen for a run, I do my workouts, all that stuff, um, watch some YouTube videos, play some guitar, whatever it is, it just, I'm, I'm starting to see how the habits and the structure and the things that I'm doing every single day, they create this like, loop and then the loop just goes and and the more it goes it gets faster and faster and faster and then like maybe because it's so habitual and I have and there's a lot less thinking involved the time moves faster and, and things blend together more because you're not thinking about it as much your your subconscious kind of takes over right so yeah time moves fast but what's wrong with that right like what's why is that such a big deal and i think we all experience it too right like as we get older at least i'm realizing it and if you talk to people and i'm sure you could realize this in your own life like the older you get the faster the years go by right like i'm 25 now and it feels like last month i was 24 but it was like six months ago and is like okay well that's fast and it wouldn't be such a bad thing except like we only have so much time and we don't always act like we only have so much time I don't know speaking for myself man like you know they say live each day like it's your last like spend you know each waking moment as efficiently and and, and really enjoy it and do your best and, and I don't know like I don't always feel that, you know, sometimes I just um, go with the flow, go with the motions, and time slips out of my hands. I mean, summer's half done already. It's going to be fall soon. It's going to be getting cold again. It's going to be, oh, winter. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but uh, that's how I'm feeling. Uh, so. I kind of want to explore like ideas of like okay if time's moving fast and you don't like it and you're stuck in this habit loop or this routine what are the things that are going to get you out of that what are the things that are going to slow down time and help you enjoy it more um, 
so I don't know answering that question for myself you ever find yourself in like a I know you have because this is universal to all humans you find yourself in a state sometimes during certain activities where things are just happening things are just flowing in a way that's like time stops almost and you're not thinking about the clock you're not thinking it's not a habit though right it's it's similar to a habit but it's not like in a habit let me try to explain this in a way that it's making sense to me is making sense to you um, say you wake up and you do the same thing every day you go to the washroom you brush your teeth you open your phone and go on that and every day it's kind of the same thing well after a while it takes less energy to do those things and so you almost do it subconsciously and it just flies by right that's one way that time actually that time flies by in that sense it doesn't slow down at all but time I'm really losing it here this is so just complicated to me like I'm, I'm having such a tough time understanding what I could do to slow down time maybe what I was getting at was that state that you get in for me it happens when I'm playing music for me it happens when I'm not thinking about the guitar notes that I'm playing I'm not thinking about the lyrics I'm not thinking about how I'm standing or how I'm pushing my voice or or, or how I'm looking on stage I'm just like totally immersed in the music and it's this weird paradoxical feeling how it's like time slows down <clears throat> and I'm like totally in that moment but at the very same time t it flies by like nothing like it's just gone like that and it's like what does how does that make any sense it's like think about when you're having a lot of fun I always noticed this as a kid when I was like playing and running around with my cousins and and, and playing games and just doing crazy shit like time flew by it was like oh my gosh like it's just gone but at the same time I was like totally present and just like in the moment that whole time yeah I think that's it just being in the present moment is probably gonna be the best way to slow down time because if I'm thinking about it time's been going really fast lately but also at the same time I'm almost finding myself less and less living in the moment and more and more just living in like the subconscious habits of things right like I'm just kind of like doing things without any real thought or any real effort I guess there's no effort you know because you do the same things every day and there's it's not hard it's easy you just go through it and it gets easier and easier every day and so there's less and less requirement for you to live in the present moment and actually be in that experience and so time just goes and it disappears and so I guess thinking about my own life like I've said it in every episode of this show so far I think a lot and I think often and I think my mind goes even more crazy and, and faster and the thoughts are crazier when I'm in a habit when, while I'm doing so, like some type of habit for example yesterday I was driving the car I was going to pick up Tina and I'm halfway there and I just snapped out of it and realized oh my god like who's driving this car I've been thinking the whole time I'm like not how did I even get here because I've been completely immersed in thought but my body was completely immersed in the activity that I was doing like driving the car right so it's like somewhere between that time disappeared and it was going by so fast because my body wasn't thinking about what it was doing it was just doing what it always does and that left room for my mind to just like wander and just like go crazy and so that's like the perfect storm for time to pass you by so like I don't know how can I how can I live more in the moment and like really enjoy my time and just soak it all up you know like savor the moment Zen oh, she wants this squirrel so bad it's gone you can't have it he doesn't want to play with you right now. Get down. Anyway, so using the example of, of driving the car, maybe what I could do is just like pay attention to what's going on in my surroundings. Like actually think about and describe what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing, what how it feels to move. Like 
use the five senses that we have to explore that experience rather than just kind of like vroom through it, whatever. Or maybe I could try to use that time uh, more constructively because it doesn't take a lot of effort to drive. Maybe I can put on a song and sing along and like practice. I don't know, just going with the flow and letting my mind wander and letting my subconscious take over. I think that's just the easy way out. It's just like so easy to do that. It's automatic, it's autopilot. It's going with the flow. But I don't know, like, is that really how I wanna live my life? Because if I do that, I mean, just thinking about how, how that plays out in the next 10, 20, 30, 40 years, like, okay, boom, my life's, you know, passed me by and I was barely present for any of it. I just let it fly by. And that sounds scary. That's scary. So, I don't know. Surely there's something that I can do to um, be more present, just like savor the moment, savor the time. Uh, even just this, what I'm doing right now, talking. To a camera exploring my thoughts out loud so that I can articulate them and maybe organize them in a way that makes sense for me and it's interesting too because there's points I'm sure you might have just clicked away but there's points where I'm exploring these thoughts and they're just not clicking they're just not making sense so I kind of have to like take a step back see it from a different perspective okay now dive in a different way into these thoughts and um, it's it's actually probably pretty cool to see that in action. I, I mean, I love watching that when people are just like figuring it out as they go along, exploring their thoughts out loud. And and for me, it, oh, it works too because like I'm understanding myself a lot better. I'm um, I'm getting to like understand what's going on with me and my thoughts a lot better because I'm exploring it out loud. I'm sharing it with other people who can reflect back to me what they think of that or or their experience also going through that so like that's pretty cool i don't know i guess my big takeaways from this uh little thought session i guess you could call it is beware of autopilot because i feel i think it's true the autopilot is what makes time go by so fast and you think when you're a kid you don't really have much of an autopilot right everything you see and do and experience is like a new thing that you have to be fully present for in order to like learn from it and and grow and and like whatever but after a while like you know after you've drove driven the car more than once the second time's a little easier the third time's a little easier it takes less energy the fourth time the fifth time and then after a while it, you don't even have to think about it anymore you could just like run on autopilot and um that's amazing that's great like it's incredible that we have that ability as human beings yet at the same time be careful with that because it can just like hijack your life and take over man because i mean just even just the habit of picking up the phone going to instagram like you ever notice like randomly out of nowhere you pick up your phone and you're not even thinking about it it's like your subconscious body takes over and next thing you know you're freaking scrolling but you're thinking about something completely unrelated like thinking about the dinner you had last night and how good it was and how you know you might want to have it again tonight but at this the whole time you're scrolling and you're not even looking at what's going on like that's happened to me so many times and i think that's really the way they designed it is to get you hooked on it in a subconscious way so it's like it's playing on the deep desires that you have that you don't even know that you have and the desire to open the phone and freaking scroll and get that hit of dopamine or whatever chemical it's activating in your brain that gets you coming back for more yeah that becomes a habit even like uh, making coffee this morning like I was making a latte this morning we just got this new coffee machine and I'm already like boom automatic I don't have to think about it <clears throat> and next thing you know like I go to take a sip of my coffee and it's already gone. I already drank it all, but I don't remember making the coffee. I don't remember drinking the coffee. Man, now the more I describe it, the more it sounds like a freaking illness. But 
I don't know, maybe there's something wrong with me. Or maybe I'm just, just learning something. Just learning about uh, what my mind and body and being wants to do when I'm not paying attention, when I'm distracted. And this, this plays off of what I was talking about yesterday in yesterday's podcast. <clears throat> I'm very distracted. Um, not only am I distracted, like I'm easily distracted. I mean, even just filming this podcast, sometimes I could get through it in one whole like boom sitting and I don't have to, I don't lose my track or my train of thought or anything. But in this specific podcast, for example, ooh, I lost my train of thought like three or four times already. And I've had to like stop and start again and, and really think it through. Uh, part of that I think comes with just thinking out loud. But another part of that is just like, how distracted I am, man. My attention span is not not very great. And I think part of that reason, it all plays into each other. It's the autopilot mindset, just going with the flow every single day, letting your subconscious take over and not really fully living in the experience, you know, not exercising your free will to, to do things differently, to change, to to even just add a little bit of variety to your life. Like not every day has to be the same thing. Like why can't you try different things every day? I mean, for me, I always thought like, okay, if I'm gonna work out every day, I'm gonna do the same workout every day. I'm gonna wake up at the same time every day. I'm gonna eat the same foods every day. And and because of that, after I do that every day, it's gonna compound and create uh, success in different ways. But I never, I never, that never works for me one because as much as I like routine and habits I get bored of them it's like I got this addictive personality where it's like I get addicted to a habit and then after a while I get bored of it and then I find some new thing to get addicted to that's a whole other conversation for another time and uh, there I go again, losing my train of thought, getting distracted. Stop. Uh, uh. All right, so I think my takeaway from this is time is going to get faster no matter what I think with age. But there are small things that we can do to just enjoy the time that we have a little bit more to make time, to make more of a mark on on your life like the autopilot it's dangerous it just flies by you don't remember much of what happened at all the times that you remember are the times it's like you take a mental note to like remember it and to be present in that moment and like when I'm thinking back on my most memories I was not thinking about anything I was just like in that moment and so that's probably why it became such like a hardcore memory that I remember for like ever so that's a thought lots of thoughts here I'm gonna leave it at that though and let my mind kind of like sleep on it and think of some more things tomorrow and maybe express some more of uh, what the frick is going on in my freaking mind and brain and, and and stuff so I'm really curious to hear about your opinions on this one because some of the things I talked about I think are universal to like all of us like we all know time we can all experience time moving faster as we get older. Um, but maybe for me personally, some of like the habit loops and uh, things like that that I get caught into, let me know if that's something that you realize as well, if that's something that you experience is like when you're, <clears throat> when you get caught in a routine or a, or a rut or anything like does time move faster or do you kind of just like does time slow down for you i don't know like i'm really curious because i have my own kind of perception of time and how it feels and everything but something about that seems really relative to the person so i'm curious did i say that yet did i say i'm curious yet anyway um got more thoughts coming through the brain of bren and uh, um yeah subscribe like comment especially comment because i really want to know what you think explore some different ideas i don't know because my mindset might just be budged and i might have to adopt a different mindset and you guys might have a better mindset that i could hopefully uh steal from you 
so I could be happier and smarter and, and better. That's the goal anyway. So, thanks. Talk to you later.